Thank you. Especially see it like that. I put so much work into that. The owner of a bar overcome with emotion while talking with me about the business he loved. A fire destroyed his bar just outside of Greenville this morning. The draw bar was named after the metal coupling between a car and the load it's pulling. The name meant something to the Burdett family. Today I talked with them and found out even more of the story and emotional attachment. It is. It Russ Burdett was having a tough time looking at the rubble of the draw bar and grill, a place he had owned since 2004. Almost every day down here working on it, cleaning, fixing stuff. Ah. And it would have been paid off in November. The sign says Russ and Vals. They had met there, sang karaoke together, and eventually got married. It was special. It was our place. And uh, there were so many other people, friends and uh, customers that met here too. Russ says he never bartended, but did the maintenance, cooking, even DJed. Val handled the bartenders and she watched the fire with them at 3.30 a.m. We just sat here and watched and watched and watched and it took forever. There are no fire hydrants close. The water had to be trucked in. It's believed the fire started in a vehicle parked out back and spread to the building. The Burdettes looked inside that car, trying to understand why. A man inside the car was treated for smoke inhalation. He spoke with the Burdettes from the hospital. Yeah, he called us actually. Apologize for the terrible. He said he heard a spark or something like that, and he said all of a sudden there were flames. The fire left very little to try and salvage. The draw bar is not opening at 11 a.m. anytime soon, but it may have a future. I'm hoping we can rebuild. We're going to try and rebuild, I hope. The bar has been there for years, also called the Friendly Tavern and the Turnaround. Russ said the bar had closed an hour before the fire and it had been a good night.